Is Air China really as bad as some people say? Buckle up and let's find out together. Let's get started. Welcome to Chongqing International Airport. I'm excited to fly with Air China in economy class to Hangzhou today and share this experience with you guys. Our journey today starts at Air China's economy class check-in desks. Follow me. Okay guys, so the first thing to know is that the carry-on restrictions are super strict. You're allowed one back on board with a maximum weight of just 5 kilos. And be prepared to sign a form confirming that your check bags are battery free. Okay guys, after a 20 minute wait, we have our boarding pass. Let's go. Let's make a pit stop at 7-Eleven before going through security. I must say I'm a big fan of 7-Elevens in Asia. It's super convenient to have them in airports to get some delicious snacks for our flight. My stomach is in serious need of yogurt after days of spicy food. Before going through security, you have to queue at passport control. And let me tell you that the queuing system here isn't the most efficient. Expect to spend a good 20 minutes waiting. Chongqing Airport started operating in 1990, but has undergone multiple renovation. This terminal definitely feels quite new. Check this out, guys. This airport has loads of these super comfortable massage chairs. Even the regular chairs look super comfy, don't you think? Oh, and look what I found over here. The airport has these futuristic sleeping pods for passengers with long layovers. These pods are equipped with massage sofas, TV, Wi-Fi, and even aircon. Now, let's make our way to the gate to board our Air China flight. No boarding groups, so people just run to the gate as soon as boarding starts. And that's the A321 that will take us to Hangzhou today. Did you know that Air China is Asia's second largest airline by passengers carry? Any guesses on which airline holds the title for Asia's largest? Okay, so here we have our economy class seat. Pretty standard narrow body economy seat with no headrest. The seat width is around 17 inches, standard for this type of narrow body. The seat pitch is 31 inches, providing decent legroom. A321s offer an inch more than A320s, which is always welcome, isn't it? Let's see what we find in the seat pocket. First up, a bottle of water, a pretty old 321 safety card, a guide on connectivity features, although I think A350s are the only Wi-Fi enabled aircraft in their fleet and a pretty entertaining in-flight magazine in both Chinese and English. Okay guys, buckle up, it's pushback time. If you're enjoying this video, drop a like now, share it with your friends and subscribe for more great content. Air China's safety video is nothing exciting. Some airlines have pulled off some really cool and creative videos. What's your favorite safety video guys? Let me know in the comments. Ready for takeoff. Let's go. I've got to admit, I was surprised by how nice and attentive the Air China crew were. Customer service in China can be a bit hit and miss, but the service on board today was spot on. Shortly after takeoff, the crew came around with complimentary newspapers in Chinese and drinks. Now, let's continue exploring this seat. Here's the button to recline your seat, along with the audio controls for the screen. These A321s feature overhead screens where you can watch documentaries about China. In Chinese, of course. Time to inspect the tray table. Light, stable, 
and relatively clean. Nothing else to report here. About 20 minutes into the flight, the crew came around to serve lunch. Let's see what's inside those boxes. Check out this cute panda lunchbox. This is a short flight, so there is only one main course option. Our main course is this chicken rice, which looks pretty yummy, doesn't it? We have this sort of pudding with cookie chunks as dessert. On the side, we have this pickles and ham. Plus, this classic bag of pickles, which are quite nice. Sanitizing wet wipe and plastic cutlery. This chicken rice is a winner. Perfectly cooked rice and tender chicken. The pudding isn't great though. Rather tasteless and these chunks are a bit soggy. The crew were quick to clear the food boxes and offer more drinks. Well guys, what can I say about this flight? My experience was far from negative. Boarding and the flight itself were right on time. Service on board exceeded expectations with friendly and attentive crew. The food turned out to be quite good despite the limited options. The airport experience wasn't the best though, with relatively long way to check in and security. What do you guys think? Have you ever flown with Air China? Leave a comment and let me know. And that's all for today guys. If you enjoyed this video, check out the videos on screen. See you in the next one.